What's good, V Sounds? It's your boy, Kitchen Raid, and it is that time again. We are one month away from the Summer Beast Games, and I'm here to share the actual, definite, official events. Some new, some returning, some just upgraded. Let's get into it. As always, the first game will be a sprint, whereas Winter Warrior is a strength to weight ratio competition. The Summer Games is like an all-round fittest competition. And starting off with a couple of 100 meter sprints is not just a decent warm up, but it is also a legitimate measure of speed, power, and wind. 100 meters, two attempts, fastest scored. A new game this year, replacing Kettlebell Hell, but in the same sucky vein, is The <laughs> Suffering. The Suffering starts with 100 burpees. Nothing fancy, bogo burpees, no push-up, no jump, no problem. Straight into 100 kettlebell swings with a 24 kilogram kettlebell. One hand, two hand, whatever, but 100 reps total. And then the competitor has to attach that 24 kilogram kettlebell to a 20 kilogram kettlebell, to a 20 kilogram kettlebell and back pedal drag it 100 meters. Dump the bells and lunge with your hands on your head back to the start line. I want to see chests upright. I want to see knees at 90 degrees. When you reach the start, you turn around and gorilla back to the bells. 50 meters one side, 50 meters the other. And finally, when you reach the bells, you jump back into the belt and drag them bells behind you all the way back to the start line to get your time. There's a pretty good reason this is called suffering. It is a measure of physical capabilities, yes, but it's also a big game of how much suck can you swallow without yawshing or giving up. It's a bad one and I'm looking forward to it. And my absolute favorite game, it's simple, but it is sinister. The Wingate Hustle is returning for the third year running. Same exercises, same order, more reps. So this year is 25 pull-ups, 35 dips, 45 rows, 55 push-ups, and a 20 meter bear crawl to finish because <gasps> up yours. Form standards were terrific last year and everything I said in last year's video still applies, so go check that out if you're hazy. Remember that if you are competing, you are also judging, so it is doubly worth knowing how to do everything right so you don't get called out, or so you can call someone else out, because if we all know the standards and we all call out dodgy reps, the results come out accurate and fair. Don't be nice, be fair. Another game I'm very pleased to announce returning because it is hilarious to watch and painful to do is Bambi's Revenge. Exactly the same as last year, but this form crackdown continues. So, it starts with a 20 meter duck walk. Your hands must not touch your legs. And then a 10 meter caterpillar with absolutely straight legs. And then 50 barbell squats loaded with 50% of the competitor's body weight. Now, I'm not going to say that they have to be asked to grasp, but there were some squats last year, including some of my own, that were like, skirt in depth, you know? Maybe, maybe not parallel reps. We ain't having none of that. This year, your judge is not going to allow any squats that do not obviously break parallel. That game finishes with a 30 meter sprint, which is the hilarious part, watching your little legs try to work again. Fastest time wins. Leveling up from last year, but staying largely the same is getting yoked. Again, I love this one, I love them all. Competitors have to pick up and carry sandbags of increasing weight over a 30 meter course, and then load them over a yoke. Once the bags are over the yoke, they must carry that yoke, which is loaded with their body weight, back to the starting line. Most points in the fastest time wins. Every successful carry is worth a point, every successful load is worth a point, and getting the yoke back across the field is worth a point. Last year, there were three bags, one, 150, and 200 pounds, and the yoke carry, making a total possible seven points. <laughs> this year, we have added a 250 pound bag, which is, you know, more than all of us, making a total possible nine points. Scores are ranked by points first and then time, so more points always beats less points. Same points, but less time means a better score. My advice on this one is if you can get those early bags straight to the shoulder, you can move a little faster, you can breathe a little easier, and you can load a little faster. After that, you wanna pick the bags up as low as possible to make clearing the yoke easier without adjusting. You also wanna make sure that you're using full frontal yeets on the bag to reduce snappability. 
Last year, we very cleverly had to do game the system by just taking forever, but getting the maximum points. He must have picked this 200 bag up like eight times. Anyway, if you've already fumbled a bag and you don't think you'll be the fastest with your amount of points, maybe it's worth taking a couple of minutes to recover and getting that extra point if you can. Another new game for this year, replacing Period of Pain, is Hang In There, Pussycat. Listen, I was gonna call it Hang Tough or The Holdout, but they both seemed like they were just trying a little hard to sound badass. And this one sounds like a meatloaf album or like that little inspirational poster, so just be cool with it. This is the way we're going, okay? Hang in there, pussycat. <clears throat> the cardio part of Period of Pain can now be found in the suffering, so pretty much just wanna tax the core and cause you know, a little emotional damage. It is a 60 second hollow body hold, eyes up, arms straight above the head, and only the low back in contact with the floor. Your judge will time you and laser vision your form. Then it is a 60 second 20 kilogram horse stance, kettlebell must be held in front of you, chest up, legs parallel to the ground. And then a 60 second L sit, I wanna see legs as straight as you can manage, and I'm gonna allow 15 degree window of error, either side of parallel. Then a 60 second front hold with a 12 kilogram kettlebell, hips and shoulders touching a wall, or in our case, a tree, so you stay upright. You want your arms straight and parallel to the ground. By the end of it, your front delts will be crying and burning, and you mentally will be in your happy place, but also crying and burning. Finishes with a 60 second dead hang. Just close your eyes, grit your teeth, and hold on for dear life. Fastest to complete all the exercises wins. And finally, the classic, it's never going anywhere, it's burning rubber. A little 60 second amuse core. A AMRAP tire flips with our biggest girl, Bertha. She's a babe. So those are your seven events for the day. Eighth event will be a barbecue volume eating challenge, which I'll be so ready for after the cut I'm gonna need to get into competition shape. As always, I'll post up some edits of the events, including our times, so if you can't be there and you wanna set any of these games up yourself, you can see how you stack up to us and how we stack up to you. If you do that, definitely film it, send it my way, because I would love to see it. Maybe I'll send you some stickers or something in return. If you are in the gang, for God's sake, Sakes. Get your diet right, get your routine right, whatever else you do, wherever you are, be well, get them gains. That's how I finish a video.